and hello and in this video we will continue developing this program we made last in the last video to be more like a real program because in a real program we want to be able to save and open and do all this new so let's learn how to do the all these basic um, MFC functionalities here that this becomes a full program so <coughs> uh, first thing to understand here is that this text here this one here is the only document we have here so so this is actually the document this circle is just an extra it's just a drawing it doesn't belong to the document really I could I could take it out here not to confuse it but um, I will leave it for now but um, just to understand that this text is the document document here okay so if we want to save for example here we want to say, we want to say save it will only save this this text here and if we uh, open a new document it will only open whatever we had had here and obviously we can have different text we can open different documents one at a time it's like a word word document isn't it that we have the text here and um, and uh, we can open and save and have a new documents it's it's the same thing what we have with the word documents or word uh, perfect word perfect or notepad or whatever okay let's continue doing this first of all let's learn how to save this text there are many ways to save text but i will show how mfc does it one way how mfc does it so we will we can we can do it in a document class here the function is called serialize so serialize will will uh, s here we can save a data into the file and when we call save when we press that save button uh, well not from here but from here when we press this save button here this is where it goes it goes to the serialize function and it, and if it's storing it will go to this section and if it's reading from the file it will go to this section so when we are opening a file it will go to this section when we are loading uh, data from the file it will execute this section and when we are saving data into the file whenever we are saving so so open will, will be this open will go to this section and this save the save here or pressing the save button here will uh, go to the go to here and the format to do this thing is that we just use this R AR and then we put like this and here we put whatever we want to save this is like the C out C out mechanism in C++ like C out we use the same same kind of logic so we, what what do we want to store well we want to store only this text before i do that by the way i will delete this default text because we are not we're not going to have any defaults anymore because we're just going to save it into the file or open from the file so we start with empty and we are going to just read it from the file there is no reason really to have a default value there so we're going to save this variable's current value like that and the storing we are just going to do the opposite going to do the arrows arrows the opposite way so this is the way to store and here we can store whatever we want to store in this case we only want going to store this string string value here <coughs> let's see that this basically basically works let's try now so this sim simple change this simple change actually sold cause something happening you know so if i press ctrl f5 to build and run okay so there's nothing at the moment so i go here and i say that set text dialog and i say here uh, for example usa this one works like from the previous video it all works and now we are aiming to save this into a file so i go to file i press save 
obviously at the moment we don't have we haven't created any types here it doesn't matter we can just type here that um, country country for example I'm just saving it here in the same folder I call the file country and save okay now I close this close this program and what we are hoping now that um, if I if I say open from here I'm, I'm hoping that we will we will we are able to show the text whatever we saved so here is the country here <coughs> it look, looks promising because there is one kilobyte here say open and there it is wow it really worked so there it is and now I can I can obviously I can save another text here I can say uh, let's say here for example Germany if there are any any people from Germany good luck for you because I just mentioned your country so I said Germany and there it goes Germany and uh, let's save Germany oh by the way I did the mistake here oh because we have yeah this is the thing that have we have we have only one save we don't have save as we don't have save as here by the way so that's oh it's there sorry sorry guys so I messed up I have to let's let me fix it now I have to change it back now to so it works so USA back USA and now I need to save it as where is the save as it's here save as and um, going to save it as mm, as country because the country was the first one isn't it S replace yes replace and now I'm going to change this let's say Germany Germany but now I need to say save as here And now I need to say, let's say country 2. Okay, dog. So now it's interesting that is it going to work if I'm opening now uh, the country 1? Yeah, it all works. This automatic system inside MFC, this all works automatically. So we don't need to do much coding here. That's, that's the good thing here. And it's also the two are here. So I can switch them from here. Germany country like that good 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 okay okay one thing is not working here at the moment and let's fix that next because if I if I um, because this is a new document obviously here when we start here it's a new document and if I type here let's I type here like Sweden okay and I press OK now normally if I press here if I close this program we know know that uh, how it should work that it should ask that oh, oh you modified the document do you want to save the document that's how word and all these word editors they work that because you don't want to lose your 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 what you just did here but at the moment it doesn't work if I press this X here close it we just lost our Sweden isn't it? so let's fix this one next one it's called set modified thing so so here when we are using this dialog box, dialog box to set this text here, lastly, we need to tell this document that we modified the document. To do this is that we say set modified, set modified, uh, modified flag. And here, as you can see, uh, modified, it's a Boolean value because it's a modified. Now we set true. Okay. So because we just modified the text here, so we have to set the modified flag to true. And when, when do we set it to false, back to false, logically speaking, it will be when we just stored, when we saved this value to the file, into the file. So, and the only place we are doing it at the moment where we are saving it into the file is over here. So here we need to say false. So after we save it into the file, we can say that, okay, now it's saved it's not modified anymore okay 
So these two small changes should actually do the job pretty much. Let's see how it works now. Okay, and if I now say here that um, Sweden and I try to exit the program, we get this message that um, save changes to untitled. And um, obviously I can say no, to close the program, but if I say, let's do it again, Sweden, okay, and I try to close, let's close now from here, exit, save changes, I say cancel, do it again, again we get this one, and now I set it yes. So we get this save as a dialog box like expected and I can put here country 3, save and that's it. And if I open it now we can open the number 3, country three, uh, 3 here, Sweden, okay, USA and um, Germany, very good. Um, okay. So many of these things already are working like we are expecting. The open is working, save is working, and save as is working. Okay, but how about the new? So, uh, if I press new now, what are we expecting? Well, we are expecting that um, this country should change to un, un, uh, untitled, or oh, what, what was that again? Un something, un, un, no, no documents here. And we will, it should take out this old text. This should be blank. The Germany should should go away. Let's see what happens if I press new. Okay, we get untitled here correctly. MFC is doing it automatically out untitled, which is correct because it doesn't have a name at the moment. But this one is still here, so it didn't take this out. But we can easily fix this thing. The way to do is it that there is a function already here. It's called on new document. So here we can, as it as it says here, we can initialize the document here. Well, for us it means that we have only one document variable, which is this one. So this one needs to be emptied. Uh, the the string must be empty. So we we have a function called empty here, which we can use. Okay, and that should do the job. So let's run it now. Okay, and I will I will now uh, let's open one of the documents here. Germany, and now I will start a new document here, and it all works. So it untitled, and now I can add a new country, like uh, for example uh, Kenya, and. Um, now, if I press new now, let's see what happens. Yeah, it correctly, everything works correctly in MFC now. We don't need to even worry about it. It's automatically everything are working. So save changes to untitled, we can say yes. And um, we can say country four here. So when we press four, we should get untitled and um, yeah, we got new untitled and it cleared the screen. So everything actually seems to work if I understood correctly and this is a good place to finish this, uh, I mean end this uh, video and uh, we will continue in the next video. Thank you for watching.